Hi, it's Kim, and welcome to Conversations with Kim. And today, I am thrilled to introduce you to Keisha Gallegos. Keisha is a master intuitive life coach, as well as the author of this fabulous book. Let's be Vanna White about it. The Little Book of Big Mojo. And what I love is the tagline underneath, and it says, The Secret Decoder Ring to Unleash Your Superpowers. Woohoo! Do we all have superpowers? We Keisha? all have superpowers. Yes. We do, you promise? I promise everyone has a superpower. I'm really good at parallel parking. My family tells me that's my superpower. That is a good <laughs> superpower to have. Very useful. <laughs> I'm not sure it's my mojo, but it's a superpower. That's all right. That's all right. Good. So uh, tell us what your definition of mojo is. Not Austin Powers. We all know that that's something he drinks to get his mojo back. That's, yeah, that's yeah. terrifying. Not that. Um, yeah. <laughs> your, your mojo is your magical, original, joyful offering to the world. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. And how did you figure out what your mojo is and tell us what your mojo is. Okay, so my mojo is helping you figure out what your mojo oh. is. So, um, I realized that because as a coach, people were calling on the phone all the time saying, hey, you know, I need to find a coach to help me find my mojo. <laughs> I, I feel like I lost my mojo. And then I asked my other coach friends, do other people use the word mojo? Like, do they ask you for that? And they were like, no. No, they do not. So I was like, I always liked that word. I think I am now the Mojo Whisperer. I love that. Thank Mojo you. Mojo Whisperer. Okay. That's me. I mean, I think we all need to find our mojo. So you've been coaching for many years, eight years, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and you've come across a lot of people and have helped them with their mojo. But what helped you, tell me that little story of how you figured out how to write this book about okay. the little book of Big Mojo. Okay, so... I've been wanting to write a book, wasn't exactly sure what exactly the lens through which to write the book. Uh, and I was on my way home from an Oprah event with my husband, and uh, I, we were in like some awful, you know, middle of the, nowhere on the fire. Was he the you only know, man at yes. this Oprah event? He was one of the only men. Yes, he was. Um, and all of a sudden, I just got this, you know, this little voice in my head said, Mojo, you're original joyful offering to the world magic you know, yeah bewitched. yeah and then it was like mojo killer number one mojo killer number two and I was like ah, you know writing as fast as I could in my phone I didn't have anything to write with um but it turned into you know mojo killers mo and then the antidotes because it's not helpful to find out what mojo killers are if you don't have the antidote oh good so you're not going to just leave me hanging no the mojo killer and <laughs> no. I have to figure it out on my own no okay good. that would not be helpful okay yeah <laughs> Um, so, okay, can you give us an example of a mojo killer? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, how about Darth Vader heart? Ooh. I know, that sounds Ooh. awful, doesn't it? It does. That's when you've been hurt so many times that you've protected your heart, and now it's kind of like a charcoal crispy critter oh. in your heart, and it's like, uh, so the antidote to that is vulnerability. When you really show who you are, when you're able to open your heart and allow yourself to be courageous wonderful things happen that can't happen when your heart is all trembly and sad and protected. Oh, I know. It's so sad. Well, and I think that the thing I really appreciate about this book is that you have really easy to follow exercises. You know, mm -hmm. there's a million self-help books out there, just a gajillion. Mm -hmm. And some of them say, okay, it's not going to work if you don't do this exercise. Mm -hmm. But you've made it so easy for us to do these exercises that do you think that when I well, when someone finishes this, this book, they'll have a pretty good idea of what it is that they're meant to do. And you should. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that was the point. I wanted to make sure that I could deliver. <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yes, I throw everything that I use with my clients is in this book. So I, I that. wanted to make sure that people could follow it step by step and really be able to know, you know, what is my special thing and yeah. why am I not putting it out there? And it really comes down to what we love to do too. Absolutely. It? What we'd love to do when we were young, what brought us pleasure, right? Absolutely. So it's not only just what you're good at, but it's what you love. And when you can mix those things together, that's where the magic happens. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times it's sometimes things that you might have been mocked. Ooh, yes. yeah, yeah, I can see how that, and you were mocked for what? Sensitivity. Oh, yes. You're too sensitive. Oh, interesting. And how have you been able to parlay that into your work? Wow. So part of being intuitive is being sensitive. So when you can um, 
go in and feel your own heart and your own sensitivity to others, it helps you be intuitive. Mm -hmm. So actually what was something that I used to get made fun of for and now is something that people come to me for. Oh, I love that. I know. I love that. And and we all have our own unique gifts and I think that's wonderful. And I do want to say that if you're interested in Keisha's book and hearing Keisha speak, she's also going to be speaking October 2nd mm-hmm. at a book luncheon in Los Gatos at the History Museum of Los Gatos. And I can give you more information on that. Yep. But I also highly recommend this book for anyone. I mean, it could be of any age. I've given it to my daughter. I think it's great for women in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Yep. Whatever age you are, if you're looking to unleash that mojo, be you a teenage boy, girl, woman, Mm -hmm. whatever you are, this book will really help you. I hope so. I I know that it will because it it has helped me. Oh, good. So thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Of course.